I see a, a wood door. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like the others, but this one has got red outlining. Beautiful. Does it have a, a handle or something on it? Yeah, just like a, a doorknob. Very good. So I'm going to count from one to three, and that door will open away from you. When I get to number three, you'll walk through and tell me what's on the other side, as descriptive as you can. One, the door begins to open. Two, and three. Walk on through. What's the first thing you notice? Are you indoors or outdoors? Outdoors. Mm -hmm. Is it daytime or nighttime? It's daytime. Mm -hmm. Where are you? I, like a grassy, like, hills. And mm -hmm. I see a big rainbow. Beautiful. What else do you notice? The sky is blue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yes. This, okay. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. They're like little, little, little houses. Mm -hmm. Little, like, okay, this is kind of weird sounding, but it, like leprechauns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> and look at yourself. Look down at your feet. What do you look like? I feel like I'm me, but I'm almost a giant to them but i'm mm -hmm. not not quite a giant but i just feel like they're yeah smaller than i mm -hmm. but but man, my feet um just like sandals mm -hmm. yeah sandals yes. what else are you wearing Just look at your legs as you look up from your sandals. I, yeah, I'm wearing like shorts because I can see my knees down. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this place where you are, do you actually see the people there? Yes, I do. I do. Mm -hmm. But it's almost like they're kind of like checking me out. Mm -hmm. So ask them, where am I? Where am I? What do they say? You're here with us. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's find out a little bit about their life and why it is that you're there. Where do they take you? Well, they're, they're kind of coming out. I don't they're kind of surprised by me to check mm -hmm. me out. I think they just don't know if I'm friendly or foe, but, mm -hmm. um, but there's, there's one that is talking to me or it's, he's, you know, wanting me to follow him. All right. What does he say to you? Um, let me show you. Good. Very good. Tell me everything that you experience along the way. I, I've been here before. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. A couple what, times. What is this place? <laughs> it's so funny. I remember being here. Mm -hmm. I, I, and I, re I remember it, like, but not understood it. But I, I just see it as like a, I don't want to say leprechaun land, but like just a different, they, it's almost like an earth. Like it looks mm -hmm. like earth. It just looks like I have a, there's a bunch of like little. There's a. I don't want to con. I don't want to compare it to the Smurfs, but similar in mm -hmm. regards to. It's their place they, on this earth. Little. What do they look like? I can't. Mm -hmm. I want to say like leprechauns. Okay. But they aren't all wearing green, but like that's what keeps coming to my mind. It's that's so fine. I want you to say everything that comes to your mind without any filters. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm Tell me more. I see a butterfly to my left. Mm hmm I see a little stream, but I'm I'm 
not as big as I remember just showing up there. Mm -hmm. not, yes. But I'm just looking at the water. Yes. Um, and, the, and the other ones are kind of coming out and moving. Mm -hmm. I see a, this is where, like an accordion, which is, yeah, I'm going to judge it, but. Um, I see it's like something is being pulled, like, like how they move. Um, what is being pulled? Is it a, some sort of a carriage? Yeah, or like a little cart. Yes. What's on the uh, cart? Um, it's like a one of the little one of them, one of them, mm -hmm. and it's being pulled by a shaggy dog but mm -hmm. but the dog i guess I'm trying to it's hard to explain because of the size difference but that's yeah mm -hmm. um and so it, i see it now as a more active yes like they're being more active and they're just doing what they normally were to do mm -hmm. and what do you do there it's like i'm just observing mm -hmm. It's almost, yeah, I'm just there to see. Um, so I'd like for you to just go inward and tell me what you feel when you're in this place. What do you feel when you're in this place with all of these leprechauns? Happy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just happy. Mm -hmm. just, it's just a beautiful area. And yeah, they're, I just feel happy and, mm -hmm. and interested. Very good. So before you told me, I remember it. I've been here before. Yeah. So I'm going to count backwards from three to one. And when I get to number one, you'll be there when you first were there, when you experienced this life before. And allow yourself to be in it. Three, going back to this life, two, and one. You're there now. What's the first thing you notice? Um. Even if you think you're making it up, what comes to you? Across the stream is, I want to say, like a castle. It's like cobblestone of some sort. Mm -hmm. And these, it, it's on the other side of the stream, but they're, you know, it's it's a bigger place. Like, like there's people my size that live around here. Yes. Um, but I don't see them. Um, I just see the little leprechaun people thing, people. Mm -hmm. And as you're looking at the castle, I want you to go into your feelings. What do you feel when you look at that castle? What comes up? I want to say it's empty, mm -hmm. but it's big, like like a, it would be like a, it wouldn't be for the leprechaun people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what do you feel when you see it? Knowing it's not for the leprechaun people. I think I'm just curious mm -hmm. what it's about, why it's here, or how if they see the leprechauns or they experience if they, whoever was there, mm -hmm. somebody made it, but what happened to them or where? Yes. I think, I think, I want to say I did and I died. All right. So I don't want you to go ahead of yourself. I want you to go to the next important scene from that same lifetime i'm going to count to three and when i get to number three you'll tell me what happens one two and three what's happening i'm dancing mm -hmm. where are you i'm in the grass mm -hmm. um there's you see it i see a little girl but I don't 
No, I don't think that's me. I feel like I'm just observing. Mm -hmm. I don't want you to do any type of analysis. I want you to just be there and yeah. explain. Okay. A little girl, she's got like flowers around her hair and a dress. She's a little, she's a little girl though. Mm -hmm. And she's just like holding hands with a little boy and they're just swinging around in a circle. Mm -hmm. Like just playing outside kind of thing. How old is this little girl? I want to say like seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is she yeah. one of the leprechaun people? No. Mm -hmm. No, she's like a human, like, waste. That's how she looks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Yes. Notice where you are. What's happening? I think there's it's some type of gathering because there's other people around and um, but I yeah people are talking I'm not really paying attention to what they're saying mm -hmm. but but yeah it's just like if you have a gathering for something and you mingle and mm -hmm. the kids are playing yes and these are the humans yeah mm -hmm. yeah they look, they look like humans again mm-hmm. What do you imagine this gathering is all about? What do you sense? Somebody came home from somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me more. Yes, the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, grown man mm -hmm. with a mustache. I want to say it's a child that has come back mm -hmm. from somewhere, or like visiting from somewhere, but it's his child. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not the one that was dance neither of the two girls or the girl and the boy that were dancing um but it's but there's not a there's not a good relationship between them it's almost like doing it to do it or like to show or like yeah i don't know like you're, you are need to but mm -hmm. but yeah there's they don't have the best i guess relationship mm-hmm and how how are you feeling about this child that has come back? What do you feel? Honestly, I want to say it's me. Mm -hmm. The child. Yes. Are you male or female there? I'm, ma I'm male. Mm -hmm. Male. How yeah. old are you there? 10, 10, mm -hmm. 11. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Um, and where have they sent you for this long period of time? Where have you been? It's, it's like, like my mother, but she's not a part of this. Mm-hmm. Yes. What has happened to your mother? I think she died. Mm-hmm. Yes. She's really poor, and yes. his father's like rich. Mm -hmm. Yes, and yes. I want you to feel these feelings. What does it feel like to go to a place with all of these strangers, which are family? I'm even sad because I. Mm -hmm. I, I'm supposed to be a part of it, but I'm not allowed to completely be. Mm hmm Yes. What do you feel when you're with these people? Like it's 
just, I don't know, there's a disconnect. Like, it's like a, a show kind of thing. It's just like it's doing it to have the appearance. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't feel really connected to the rest of them. Yes. Very good. So listen carefully. I'm going to count to three. When I get to number three, you'll advance in that same lifetime to the next important event that impacts your life. One, two, and three. What's happening? I see my purple and gold. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I, I feel like I'm I'm kind of wandering around the stream, mm -hmm. um, but I'm separate from others. I'm like by myself, and I I think this is where I met the lep one of the leprechauns. Mm -hmm. So I want you to live through it. Tell me what happens. It's curious about me. I'm curious about it. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm not fearful. It's not fearful. We're just checking each other out. And um, I'm able to to cross the stream. If, if I go up a little bit, there's like these, you know, rocks that kind of form that you can go. Because it's not a big stream either. But mm -hmm. And it's like he's this leprechaun is leading me, but it's still kind of a difference. We're not like we spoke to each other. It's just kind of letting me follow him. Yes. Um, and it's, it's like we become a secret friend. <laughs> mm -hmm. Is this a young leprechaun or an older one? Um, How does he feel to you? He feels like he's, more like 17. Mm -hmm. And how like old it, are you now? I'm, I'm, I'm still 10. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Yeah. Very good. So now you've found a friend. Yeah. To help yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. What happens next? Um, well, I, he kind of takes me to where you know his people kind of are mm -hmm. which is interesting to me because there's a part of me that's like how are you not seen by others or is it just not talked about or are you safe I'm, I'm trying I'm thinking about how this how this I guess makes sense but like yeah I'm just curious of how they're here but nobody else sees them or knows them so you know never heard anybody talk about it about a leprechaun or a little village before here. Mm -hmm. um, so I just, it's almost like I'm, I'm slowly, like he kind of leads me and I'm able to see. And I don't, they don't quite see me. And it's like, I'm kind of just peeking behind a tree. The one le little leprechaun guy who's leading me, it's like, I think he doesn't want to scare his, the rest of the people in this little village thing. Yes. Um, and so that's kind of where I stay. And then... Um, I don't also don't want to scare them um, away. I'm, I'm, I, I think this is the coolest thing ever, but I still don't know why other people can't see them. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they just aren't, aren't um, any, anyhow. Um, so I, I don't continue forward there because I, I don't want to scare them, but I, I come back like yes, because yes. they become my, my place to be like what I look forward to when I have to come here mm -hmm. um but yeah it's just like like being there like seeing it I feel special to see it um and I'm my little leprechaun guy is kind of like his people kind of know what's up because they know about humans but we're not necessarily like you know interaction or if it's safe or not but mm -hmm. this little leprechaun has observed me enough and i've observed him that 
He's letting him know he's I'm watching them around. Very good. Very good. So let's close the scene right here. And I'd like for you to advance the next important scene in that life. The scene that impacts your life next. One. Moving forward now. Two. And three. You're there now. What's happening? I'm, I'm away. Like I'm in a boat. Mm -hmm. How old are you there? Let's say like 16. Mm -hmm. Where is this boat taking you? I don't know. It's it's more like a like a canoe, but I don't feel like I'm as close to the castle place. I am. Uh, Are you by yourself, or is there someone in yeah. the canoe with you? No, I'm by myself. I'm mm -hmm. paddling. Yes. I think I'm so. I become so fascinated with these these little leprechaun guys that I'm I'm looking I'm looking for to see if there's anything else around any place else like mm -hmm. just because yeah it's so interesting that I'm, no one talks about them and I just look at other places but I don't find myself seeing other places I'm just still mm -hmm. looking but mm -hmm. um but yeah, I, I'm, I'm just, I, I feel very alone in general, but I think that's my curiosity. Mm. But, but I, yeah, I just feel like I'm, I'm, I'm just in the canoe moving. Mm -hmm. What happens next? Feel it. I stop. I'm stopped. I see somebody. I want to say I see. I see my dad. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm running to him for some reason. Yeah. Um. Our cat got something. We had mm -hmm. a cat. This cat got something in mm -hmm. it, and I think I was afraid for whatever it had, or I was upset because I, I just think of even though it's a, it's a little creature that it has, it's a creature, it's something that is alive, and mm -hmm. I, I have, yeah, because uh, it wasn't one of the leprechauns, but it made me react, mm -hmm. and. My dad didn't care. He's just like, what are you, you know, mm -hmm. like, you're fool. That's what cats do. But I, I just feel kind of sad and I go walking back. I don't take the boat though. Mm -hmm. but I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm kind of going back into where those leprechauns were. Yeah. Just like to spend time there. But most a lot of my time is there because I don't feel connected into this family. Yeah. Um, Advance a little bit more. Go to the next impactful moment in that lifetime. Where are you? I'm sitting on rocks. Mm -hmm. the, the, the little girl that was dancing with the other little boy in the beginning. Yes. Um, I think that was my sister. I got my half sister. Mm -hmm. And. I want to say she 
drowns, like she falls in and drowns. How does that affect you? I'm trying to to save her. I'm trying to help her, but mm -hmm. for some reason I'm not able to. Oh, that's so sad. I'm panicking. Mm -hmm. And my, it's like my father gets really, really angry with me. Mm -hmm. What does he say to you? It's my fault. Mm -hmm. He, uh, he hits me. He doesn't want me. What happens next? <laughs> it sounds morbid, but I want to say I kill myself. What do you do? Thinking of this, like a like I find a way to hang myself. Yeah, but, but yeah, like it just, it's, it's, it's because it's outside and other people, when I'm found, it kind of like everybody, there's more people that see it. So it becomes very, mm -hmm. um, not a place people want to come hang out anymore, I guess. Yes. Um, and then now I'm kind of back to where I'm across the stream and I'm looking at the castle and it's just a cobblestone and it's empty. Mm -hmm. So I want you to think about this. What's been the most difficult moment? Is that, experience, that whole life what I experienced? What is it? What's been the most difficult moment in that lifetime? I want to say rejection and guilt of my sister dying. Mm -hmm. So when you feel that someone rejects you and you feel guilty for someone else's death, what are your physical reactions? Well, it's kind of like a, a burning inside, like pain. The burning pain. And when you have this burning pain, what are your emotional reactions? Um, this is sad, but it's almost like a. I felt this before, um, many like I say many times, but times in my normal like like current day here. Mm -hmm. What are your emotional reactions when you're? feel rejected and feel um, the guilt of not being able to save your sister not good enough like mm -hmm. like i'm not like what's what am i here for why why like what what could i do what didn't i do like mm -hmm. so when you feel these feelings that burning pain the sadness saying to yourself i'm not good enough what can I do? What didn't I do? Yeah. How is that all now affecting you in the life that you're living as Jamie? What does it make you do? Um, <laughs> well, I'm, I feel like helping people makes me feel good. Makes mm -hmm. me feel good enough because I'm helping them. Mm -hmm. I just. And when you spend your life helping people so that you don't feel good enough, what does that prevent you from doing? Finding what I really want. Mm -hmm. Finding my happiness. Mm -hmm. Very good. So listen carefully. We're going to go back to find out what really happened. 
but this time you're going to experience it in detail. And I don't want you to hold anything back. I'm going to count backwards from three to one. And we'll find out what really happened in that lifetime without any filtering. Three, two, and one. How does this all begin? Where are you? Yes, the first thing that comes to your mind. The castle. Mm-hmm. How old are you there? Three. Mm-hmm. Who's there with you? Nobody. I'm like apt to like stay in this like it's almost like I'm locked in somewhere. Mm -hmm. But by myself. I'm I'm an inconvenience to every to everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially my dad. Yes, what but has I, happened that is making you an inconvenience to others? Because it, everybody knows my dad had a child from somewhere else, but he doesn't like to, he, he has his own kind of shame about it. And he takes mm -hmm. it out on me. Yeah. And so it's like when I'm around other people or I'm brought out, it's kind of for display. Mm -hmm. But when everybody's gone, like I go back to this like room, this, I want to say it's more like a cellar, but I'm just by myself. Yes. I just sit there. I just rock. And what has happened to your mom? She's not there, but it's just like she's. I've gone. Did he? He doesn't like to acknowledge her because he's poor, but my my mom is just not. She's somewhere else. I just see her in like. I don't know, say rags, but cloths, just, you know, she's, I want to say, she's just very poor. Yes. And he doesn't like that either. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> it's he... all about his appearance or like how he's, how everybody perceives him. Mm hmm And why is it that you're with your dad and not with your mom? She she thinks it's better for me because she can't take care of me as good as she thinks he can. So you were given away. Is that it? Well, I've seen her. Like, I, I do get, I do go to her sometimes, but I feel like I'm, she, I just see her as more of a wanderer. And, and so I get sent to dad, even though dad doesn't really want me. Mm -hmm. But like that, that's why I think he puts me in this place where I just been alone and brings me out. Yeah. Like just to be like, because people know about me. Mm -hmm. I want you to look at your mom's eyes, the eyes of the window to the soul. Do you recognize this soul? Have you seen those eyes before? No, I don't think so. Okay. How about your dad? Does he seem familiar? He's he's definitely more familiar, but I I can't like he he's uh he's got like a thin pencil mustache, dark hair. Mm -hmm. Like he reminds me of like like uh the heritage of my father's side and um mm -hmm. but i i don't recognize him as somebody but he does feel familiar more than my mom did okay very good so i'd like for you to just move on to the next important scene what happens now that you've been locked away what happens next nothing really mm -hmm. i just am brought out and i i think 
once I died, I didn't cross. I just like went to find the leprechauns. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I want to ask you something. After you went to visit the leprechauns, when is it that you found Jamie? How did you find her? Are you the same soul? Or did you come finding her? I feel like she was she was there with the leprechauns too, but I never saw her. Mm -hmm. How yeah. old was she when you found her with the leprechauns? Fourteen. Mm -hmm. What was she doing? Kind of the same thing I was, but like mm -hmm. this is where her, this is one of her happy places. Mm -hmm. Is this during sleep time, or was she doing this physically? When did you find her? Go back to that moment. Where was she when you found her? What was Jamie doing at that time? I'm going to say the same thing I was. Mm -hmm. Yes. So all of this time that you've been with her, feelings, all of these feelings that you've been feeling, all of that rejecting, needing to help other people, how have you been affecting her? I want to hold on to her because she's like me. Mm-hmm. Yes. And when you hold on to her, what are the things that you say to her? No. I feel like I, I just hold on. Mm -hmm. Like I don't say anything to her. I'm just hanging on with her. Mm -hmm. And I want you to notice other people who are also needing to hold on to her. Is it the same thing? Are they also feeling the same feelings that you do? Yeah. Those feelings of rejection? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. it's, Not it's good like, enough. Well, it's, it's like she can, she can, take, we want to be there. Mm -hmm. Um, because we're not alone. Mm -hmm. And she understands things um, better. And so we can be there. Like, we, it's like she leads, or like, you know, we're just want to be with her because she's better than what we are. Like, she mm -hmm. knows how to do it better. So, how many of you are there with her, holding on, wanting to be there with her? You said five. Mm -hmm. So all of you that are there with her, how are you all impacting her life? Just hold her down because of the weight and the energy. Because mm -hmm. we want to be happy, but we're not happy. Mm -hmm. And she's the closest thing. And where she goes like to find happiness is better than the places we think of, but this is mm -hmm. a common, this was a common place. It's leper complex. Okay. So let me ask you something. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to feel good on your own without needing somebody else's light? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to help you today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 So I know that she has been feeling her heart hurting. I'd like for you to look at your own heart. 
and see if your heart has been hurting. Yeah. Mm hmm But within that little hurting heart, there's a little spark of light. The spark of light is the one that created you. This is the divine spark. I want you to find that spark and tell me when you find it. I found it. Mm -hmm. Now make it bigger. I want you to make that spark really big. Allow that light to just flood in on you and tell me what happens. Feels really good. Mm -hmm. Make it even bigger. Make it bigger than you. It feels like I'm shedding something. Mm -hmm. Yes. And who's in that light waiting for you? Family. Mm -hmm. What do they say to you? Welcome home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but how can you be welcomed home if you're holding on to Jamie? Well, I'm not now. I don't need to. Okay. But before you go, there's some words you need to tell her because you've been holding her back, holding her down all this time. What do you say to her? I'm sorry. Mm hmm. So I want you to tell me where you've been holding on to her. What part of her body have her you been torso. Her, her torso. torso. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I want you to look at your energy that's been holding on to her torso. And begin to release that energy now. And as you release that energy, I want you to go ahead and begin to release it. And take all that energy into the light. Release it. And tell me when you're home. I'm home. Very good. May the light of the universe always accompany you. Thank you very much. And I want you to go ahead and close that portal down. And I want you to scan your body. And I want you to see... Who else is there holding on? What do you notice next? You may feel a twitch. You may feel a movement. You may see a shadow. What is that? I feel, I feel something like it's uncomfortable around my like lower abdomen, like under my belly button. Mm -hmm. So I want you to focus on that and imagine yourself zooming in really close to it. You may hear, hear some words. You may see some visions. What is that that's under that space? It reminds you of what? I want to say like scar tissue, but I don't know why. Mm -hmm. scar tissue. Go deeper. Go deeper into that scar tissue. Feel yourself zooming in deeper. What is that scar? Where did it come from? Yes, even if you think you're making it up. What do you I feel? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like energy suckers. Energy suckers. Mm hmm. Tell me more. Yeah, it's weird. They're like little black things. Mm hmm. Where are they coming from, these little black energy suckers? <laughs> the pain she's taken from others. Mm hmm. I see. So I want you to notice how it is that she takes the pain from others. Doing what they want, even if she doesn't like to. Mm -hmm. And because it makes them feel better. Yes. And when you take that pain from others, I want you to notice how it's affecting that area. Yeah. What is that? 
are just sickly, mm-hmm. like have, having problems, health problems. Mm-hmm. Yes. And how many of these energy suckers are there? Four. Mm-hmm. Good. Do they have something to tell you? Nope. They don't want to go anywhere. Yeah, of course they don't. Let me speak with them. I'm going to count from one to three and allow them to speak through your voice. One, two, and three. Switch. You there. Yeah. Who's who's the, the, the main one? Me. Okay. Well, thank you for speaking with me today. I know that Jamie has been taking on the pain of others. How does it manifest within her body? So it helps us. Mm-hmm. How does it help you? Have more control. Mm-hmm. And how is it that you control her? Well, she just feeds us by taking more pain. Mm-hmm. So um, you're, you're fed by the pain? Yeah. Mm-hmm. By the, the energy. It's yes. like we like. Mm-hmm. And when she feeds you with that energy, what happens to her when you're she, fed? She's tired. She doesn't mm. feel good. Mm-hmm. Yes. Are these the times where she just want, does, wants to be home and not go out and things like that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just feel like dragging. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We make her tired. Yeah. Do you put any thoughts in her head? I mean, we talk to each other, but I don't know if we're intentionally doing it. She might hear us. So what do you say to each other? Just that we're happy. We like mm-hmm. like being here, like, because we can kind of do what we want. Mm-hmm. And, and she likes helping others, right? Yeah. So when she overhears you saying that you're happy, she just takes more pain? Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're us being here we just get stronger Mm -hmm. how long have you been there with her Um, 14 Mm -hmm. it seems that a lot happened to her at 14 it seems like that's when she opened up all the floodgates welcoming all these energies in there is that what it was I think it was the beginning of her allowing or opening that up Mm -hmm. like being like like not aware enough but but still not sure and we could just you know slowly Mm -hmm. start like to open Mm -hmm. starting to infiltrate is that what did yeah it's like she Mm -hmm. had something open and Mm -hmm. so we just decided to kind of come in so what are the things that affect you when you don't get your energy? What are the things she does that diminishes your energy? When she's happy, when she doesn't let us, she doesn't give, she doesn't give us the negative. Like, mm-hmm. I, like there's a barrier like that's not allowing it to come through and it pisses the off. Pisses the mm-hmm. 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 And what would happen if she was always happy? Uh, uh, I don't know anybody could have always happy. Always what if she did? What if she was always happy? Well, she'd be worthless. Hmm, I see. For you. For me. Yes, yes. yes. So let me ask you something. There is an energy that would always feed you. Did you know that? Um, I think I know what you're getting at. Mm-hmm. But you haven't tried it, have you? No, I saw you do it on the last guy. Mm-hmm. But you didn't feel it yourself. Uh no. He's, he's scared? 
I don't know. You know what it was? Just different. I think, I think you're scared. You're scared of having all of that love, all of that energy. I don't think anybody could have all that. Mm -hmm. You want to try it? Okay. Okay. I want you to get all your buddies together so they could all feel it. Is that okay? Mm. Just tell them. Just tell them we're going to try something. They can reject it. That's fine. They're hesitant too. Okay. So let them watch you. Okay. It's, all right. Okay. So I want you to find that spark of light within you because everybody has it. All all creation has that spark of light no matter what you are find that little spark and tell me when it's there it's and you'll tiny. yeah it's very tiny but all that effort that you make in taking her energy go ahead and take the energy from that spark i want you to make it bigger And I, you know you're, I'm very, you're very good at doing this, so make it really big. Just blast it open. And tell really? me what happens. What happens? It's like a box of light. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and just feed off of that box of light and tell me how it feels. Wow. Um. Mm-hmm. It's like a wave of... Mm, nice, isn't it? Yeah. T tell your buddies about it. They must be wondering with their mouths dropping open as to what happened to you. Go ahead and tell them to try it themselves. Come on, guys. Yeah. Make that light really big. Make it so big it just covers them too so they could feel it. What happens? They're slowly coming to it. Mm. They're feeling it. And mm -hmm. it's just standing Feel it. Them. Feel it. Feel it getting bigger and bigger. I didn't think it was possible. Mm -hmm. Feel it. Tell me what it is that you're feeling now. Light, like air. Mm hmm. And now that you're in that light, you'll remember where you came from, where you've been. Yeah. Yeah. We all, we all started in the light. Mm-hmm. We all started there. And you may notice that there is an angel there waiting for you. What does he say to you? Come with me. <laughs> mm-hmm. But before you go... I want you to say something to Jamie. What do you say to her? Sorry, Jamie. Mm -hmm. Can you forgive these beings for not knowing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So go ahead and pull out all of that energy that you have inside. Doesn't belong to you. Feel that energy being removed going into the light take all that blackness out all those dots all that pain that doesn't belong to you pull it all out that's not yours that doesn't belong to you you don't get a prize for taking on somebody else's pain And now that all of that is gone, I want you to close that portal down. Thank that angel. And we're going to fill that space with something beautiful. What would you like to fill that space with? White light. Beautiful. I'm going to sound a tuning fork and I want you to bring in that white light. Feel it going through your body. Breathe it in, all the way from your head to your toes, filling in all the spaces, all the gaps, anything that wasn't needed any longer. 
to pull it all out. And I want you to bring in that divine light from all that is. And set the intention to no longer take on others' pain because you know what happens when that happens. It becomes a feeding ground for all the darkness to feed off of. So now scan your body and tell me what it feels like. Vibrating. Very good. I want you to select a color that represents healing for your mind, body, and spirit. What color would you like to choose? Gold. Beautiful. I'm going to sound a tuning fork. And I want you to bring that gold in through the top of your head. Breathing it in. Feeling it going down into all of your organs into your arms, into your legs, all the way to your toes. Send it out further out beyond the boundaries of your body. Feeling your skin radiating gold and just create a big blanket of gold and snuggle up into that blanket. Feeling yourself healing from mind, body and spirit knowing now that you've made a new decision with your life and moving forward you can become that other you in that multiverse always keeping in mind that you are the light to show others but not carry them I'm going to count from one to five with each number you'll be waking up more and more and when I get to number five, you'll open your eyes with complete control of your mind and your body. Eyes. Five, wide awake, completely alert, feeling wonderful all over. Oh. Welcome back. Oh. How was that? That was a trip. <laughs> that was crazy. It was good. Did it make sense? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm surprised at, at how much I could connect. Yeah. With the current. Like, it's interesting. It's really interesting. It's fascinating. I wouldn't have ever really <laughs> thought that deep, but I can connect it to things in my life. It's just crazy. That was cool. <laughs> Unbelievable, huh? Yeah. Oh. So, um, you want to keep this private or what? Um, oh goodness, do I want to keep this private? <laughs> well, it, that yes. part, that part was, was pri I think that part is private. The part that at the end, what about the leprechauns? <laughs> if you want to, sure. Why not? <laughs> it's a story. It's, it's um, crazy. It's interesting because I've, but I, he he was a lost soul. He hanged himself. Yeah, that's and so. he ended up he ended up coming to you for for your light. Does it's that so make sense? Yes. Right? Yeah, I, I get it all. It's just interesting. I, it's so fascinating. Yeah. Thank you so much, Alva. Yeah, Yo, you're welcome. How do you feel? How does your body feel? Good. It feels feel good. good. Yeah. How does your heart feel? Um, calm. Calm. Well, that's yeah. better than hurting. Yeah. No, I'm so peaceful right now. Good. Good. Yeah. There's a lot to, there's a lot to process here. Yeah. <laughs> Since we're going to put this out there, I'll just let everybody know that you can get on my mailing list uh, at albawyman.com. And that is what Jamie did. How long did you wait for a session? Oh, I want to say at least four years, if not more. <laughs> But it aligned perfectly. It totally did. 
there you go there you go and what part of the world are you in you're out west right so yeah, Oregon Oregon so you know I I don't do sessions in person alone and I don't do online so I do both online and in person so this was perfect we got to meet online and it worked yeah it worked yeah. Yeah. terrific all right so thank you all for watching until the next video much love bye Thanks, Alma.